Hey, Frank, look, let me be honest with you. So I'm making a cold call today. And the reason I wanted to get through to you is because the honest confession approach. Hi, guys. My name is Deepak Shukla, founder at Pearl Lemon Sales. We're a sales training and development agency based in the UK as well as the USA and serving clients worldwide. And here today, in day number 82 of 119 days of cold calling training, we're here to talk about the honest confession approach. So before we get into it, feel free to click the link in the description below to get access to 17 additional strategies that are not shared in this training. <clears throat> so look, fundamentally, with the honest confession approach, this is used when you, well, a couple of things happen. Number one, it's when you have sidestepped the gatekeeper or the receptionist by, for example, implying that you've got a personal relationship with the decision maker that's like <clears throat> number one or that you've got or been in touch with the decision maker already where you haven't or you're not sure that one of your team has and then the decision maker comes to the phone and you've got knowledge of it that they've come to the phone because oh, okay well if they've been in touch then fantastic now you may or may not wish to reveal that that wasn't the entire truth let's say of the way that you're able to get past a gatekeeper. You may just run with the pitch, but there'll be instances, depending upon what you've said, that going in, there's an expectation that you'll be able to talk in, in, in some detail about the context of what it is that you've initially said. So that might be, yeah, no, Frank and I have been talking on email, uh, so I was, I was due to follow up. So then you get onto the phone with Frank, and logically, you would, for example, carry on with the email chat, carry on with, yeah, so Frank, you know, um, yeah, I sent you an email last week as an example, but where you haven't sent an email, then you need to be honest, assuming the receptionist says, yeah, no, you said that you guys have been in touch on email. Uh, and, and, and that's the judgment call you need to make because the, the gatekeeper receptionist may have, for example, shouted across the office or patched herself through to Frank and said to Frank, okay, so I've got a guy Deepak on the line and he said he's been in touch on email. He's like, oh, I don't really recall that, but put him through this. Let me, let me have a chat with him. And you might say, oh yeah, Frank, so... um. I sent, I sent you an email last week and I'm just following up on the email and Frank might be in that instance saying, hang on, um, you know, let me have a look. Where's, where's this email? Let me have a look for this email. Let me have a look for this email. And in situations like that, if you think that you've got that, you're like, if you get to this stage and then you make an honest confession saying, look, Frank, honestly, I've not been in touch before, if I'm being honest. Uh, I just use that as a, as a ruse to get part of Gatekeeper. If you use it here, then your, your likelihood of getting shot down is going to be much higher than if you use it here. And using it here is really just, I mean, it's, it's, it's a case of assessing the, the decision maker that you've got in front of you and trying to figure out whether you think that they're that kind of character that's going to close the loop. Like, not everyone will, okay? Not everyone will at all. And in some instances, some of them might think about it, but they might not bother, depending upon the way that you communicate and introduce yourself on the call, okay? So again, tonality and energy, all of these things are still vitally important to the call and a lot of a lot of a lot of how they respond to you can hinge upon how you introduce yourself i hope you can't hear that popping in the background by the way sorry um a lot of it will hinge upon how you introduce yourself so the honest confession is really to be used on a case by case basis but the line simply is where you think that mm, my 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 sidestepping of the gatekeeper or the receptionist bulldoze, the I'm a friend approach, the first name approach, the first name terms approach, the colleague connected approach, all of that might get blown up once Frank gets on the phone. If you've got that impression, say, Frank, look, I, I, I want to make a confession. My colleague didn't reach out or Frank, I wanted to make a confession. My colleague didn't send an email or Frank, I wanted to make um, a confession. Um, I, I told you the gatekeeper, I told, you know, I told Melanie that we're, that, that, that we're mates and I'm hoping that we will be, but yeah, this is of course the first time that we've spoken, buddy. So then that is the opportunity upon entering the call to make that statement. And, and, and that's what you need to make sure that you make a decision upon. <clears throat> it needs to happen in this space rather than over here. You, you still have a chance of getting through over here, but the risks increase because the nature of let's call it the white lie that you've told has it's it, 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 it's continued and it's got bigger and bigger and, and and that's no no really good thing fundamentally so just make sure that you decide and and figure out when you're going to be basically using the honest confession approach and by and large when you do use it you know, decision makers, I, I mean, some decision makers will ultimately still get pissed off, okay? 
And some decision makers, no matter what you say, will just get pissed off or won't want to talk to you, okay? And we're not worried about dealing with that proportion of the, the, the people that you speak to because that is what it is and there's little that you can do about it. But for those who you've got an inch, a sliver, a thread, a chance with, then the honest confession approach definitely can work when you think that you're going to be sprung. So choose your moments, but be mindful that you can make an honest confession and say, look, Frank, I'm, I'll be honest with you, buddy. I, 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 want, I need to make a confession. I said that just to get past your, 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 you know, your, your lovely receptionist, Melanie, because I really wanted to talk to you and I couldn't get through otherwise. And Frank should understand, appreciate, and even admire that and say, well, Deepak, let me just start by saying that, you know, I wish my sales team did more of that. And you'd be like, oh, brilliant. Well, Frank, listen, it's, it's ironic you say that. The reason that I'm calling is, and then, of course, I can go into the sales training pitch. So there you have it, guys, the honest confession approach. Remember, we've got 17 one, seven gated strategies just waiting for you. All you need to do is bing, subscribe, as well as click the link in the description below to get access to those 17. Get some.